Welcome folks. Uh, today I was going to be talking a little bit about uh, mechanical fuel pumps. Uh, the unit you see in front of you here is out of about a mid-75s Chrysler product. Um, being a mechanical pump, this arm that you see here is what actuates the whole mechanism. Um, with this particular one, there's an eccentric that's on the end of the, the camshaft and it works this uh, lever here up and down and that's what creates the pump action. Some, notably some, uh, I guess some Chevys, they actually had a push rod or something that came down and actuated this lever. Excuse me, <clears throat> a bit of a tickle in the throat here. Um, this one here, uh, basically what's going on inside here, I'm not going to open this one up just to keep us both in suspense, but I will tell you what's going on in there. Uh, there's basically a rubber diaphragm in here and a connecting rod and it's linked to the end of this arm, much working like a teeter-totter. Um, when this is forced down with the eccentric on the end of the cam, uh, it pulls up on the, uh, the rubber diaphragm and it creates suction into this lower part here. That's the, the line that goes to your fuel tank. So it's drawing in whenever the diaphragm's coming up and there's two valves in here. Uh, the one that's uh, drawing in would be open and the one that's going to expel the gas, this one here up to the carburetor, would be closed. So when the rubber diaphragm goes up, it creates a vacuum, the fuel goes into the chamber inside here, and then when this lever, it's opposite of what it's doing, when the lever go transfers down this way, like a teeter-totter, it pushes down on the diaphragm, closing the inlet valve, opening the outlet valve, and then uh, it forces the fuel out through this opening here, <coughs> excuse me once again, and then it, uh, it this takes off up into your uh, fuel filter first in this particular one and then onto the carburetor. Um, this one here actually really looks like it's uh, in working order but it isn't. I can remember driving the car along and all of a sudden it started to sputter and whatnot and I was kind of wondering what it was and then uh, I managed to get it home and then I, uh, I took the fuel line off the carburetor and I cranked the engine a few times and there was barely any fuel coming out of the fuel line whatsoever so this has got to be the culprit here. If it's not a ruptured or worn, torn diaphragm, rubber diaphragm in there, then one of the valves is probably uh, faulty in one way or another. Uh, these are very simple to uh, take off and reinstall a new one. Um, it's basically on here. This is the inlet side. It's just a rubber hose on there. There's no pressure. It's all in vacuum uh, from the tank, so there's no need for a pressure fitting so it's just basically a clamp and a rubber hose and then it connects on to uh, a steel fuel line leading to the rear of the car where the gas tank is. The other one is under pressure. Uh, these ones here put out somewhere between 5 and 7 psi uh, when they're running. Uh, there's a, a tapered seat in here. Uh, you would have a tapered uh, steel fuel line with a nut. You tighten it down. <coughs> Excuse me. Much like a brake line would be only this is a bit larger. And this would feed, like I say, up to a, a canister filter, and then on the way from there it would go to the carburetor. Um, and then to secure it, this one actually bolts to the, uh, the front, sort of near the bottom of the uh, engine block, passenger side if you're uh, in North America. Uh, just two bolts secure this right in there, right into the uh, side of the engine block right here. There's just basically a gasket fits on here, and the two bolts coming through through here and here, and that's all there is to it. So, the faster your engine cranks, the faster the actuating lever moves, obviously at idle. Also, the being driven off the cam, it only, the camshaft in a, in a typical North American V8, uh, the rotation is only half of what the crankshaft is. So, just give you an idea how fast it's pumping. If you're doing redline, say you're doing 5,000 RPM, uh, the cam would only be turning half of that. So, that's all this basically does is work off the eccentric on the cam here. It goes up and down, up and down whenever the engine's running. A disadvantage to the mechanical ones if the car's been sitting around for a while is you have to crank them for quite a bit uh, in order to get fuel back into the carburetor. If you start your car on a regular basis, there's usually enough fuel left in the fuel bowl and whatnot that hasn't evaporated out yet or still in the line that'll get a fairly quick start. But if you've left it sitting for, say, a couple of weeks, a month, you really got to crank or else you have to pull the air cleaner cover off and give it a little bit of a prime with a squirt bottle or something with some gas. 
So that's about it for today for mechanical fuel pumps. Uh, hope it uh, helps you out in some way. So take care, have a nice day, and bye for now.